A garbage collector is a feature that actually frees memory automatically for you, so you don't have to manage memory. In Unreal, it implements a garbage collecting scheme whereby you objects that are no longer referenced or have been explicitly flagged for destruction will be cleaned up at regular intervals. The engine builds a reference graph to determine which objects are still in use and which ones are orphaned. In Blueprint, this is mostly done automatically, but in C++, if you're not careful, you will create an object and not properly let the engine know its reference, and so the garbage collector will delete it when you're actually still trying to use it. One major trap for people first learning how to write C++ in Unreal is having the garbage collector delete memory out from under you. So I'm going to show you how that happens and how you can protect yourself from it. First, we need to make something that the garbage collector will delete. We will make a U class, and we'll call it garbage collectible object it and it will inherit from you object I've included the no export types view object and there's generated body so that's all we need for that and what we'll also make is an actor to place into the level to do our test with and so in this actor we'll just make some public variables for our tests So the first thing is you could just store a pointer to a garbage collected object, but this will actually be deleted and you won't have any way to know that it got deleted. So we have a raw object pointer. One way we can actually test this is with a T weak object pointer. We'll put the type here. So what we're going to do is have this weak pointer point to this raw object so we can look and see if it actually was collected. But as far as this pointer goes, the address will always look or appear valid. The way you can protect the garbage collector from deleting stuff from out from under you is to use U properties. So what we can do is just create a pointer to an object. And we'll write some code to create that in a moment. The newer way to do this is to still use a U property, but instead of just having a raw pointer, you can have a T object pointer. So now we have the classes where we can observe what happens with the garbage collector. The raw object, this will be gc'd, garbage collected, without nulling property. The weak object pointer will allow us to query if object is still valid. And then the property will prevent gc from deleting memory almost. So there's one caveat to that that we'll talk about at the end. Um, and then the T object pointer is basically the same as the raw pointer U property. Just a newer way of having pointer properties. Alright, so we need to make some functions. The first function we want to make is, you know, create our objects. So that'll prevent these from being null pointer. We'll populate them with some valid pointers. Then we want a function to print object state. We want a function to try and use the raw object, so use raw object. And then we want a function that is force garbage collection of properties. And so this is the, the caveat. You actually can tell Unreal to null this property out. So it will garbage collect it, but since it's a U property, you'll be safe in that it'll set it to null pointer again for you. Whereas the raw object will not, and your if statements will not be able to detect if the memory has been freed. All right, so let's do our create objects function. So in there, what we will do is we'll say our raw object is equal to new objects. And grab that type from the header. Our weak pointer. The raw will just have it point directly to the raw object, so we can do a query to validate that it was actually deleted. And for our property safe, we'll do another new object. And for the object property, we'll do another new object. Okay, so now we have a function to create these. What we want to do is make a function to view the state of them. And so the way we will do that is copy these over and I have a snippet for printing to the, sh to the screen so we'll print the pointer so 
so we can print the raw object. Now let's print the weak object. And for this one, instead of printing the pointer, we'll print if it's valid. So we need to include the Kismet library. So I've asked Visual Assist to include it. And so now we need to make our use raw object. And so here is where we'll show the bad behavior. We can check, so if raw object does not equal null pointer, then do something with it. But it, this check will pass, but it actually will be null, and the memory will be pointing to something else. So in this case, let's log it, so have a snippet for logging. And we'll just ask it for its name. So there's a function called get name safe, which returns a string of an object, but even this will crash because it appears to be a valid object. To also show the other one, we'll call the unsafe version. And so sometimes this will work if you haven't been garbage collected yet, but then other times it'll crash if you're lucky. In debug builds, you'll see the crash, but in shipping builds, it may corrupt memory without actually crashing. And so this other edge case we want to cover is this forced garbage collection of properties. So this is a thing you have to watch out for. And because of that, even though a U property looks like a strong reference, you do need to null check for it. And because it's a U property, it will be set to null pointer if it's not valid, by the garbage collector at least. So what we'll do is we'll say if property safe object does not equal null pointer, then we're actually going to mark it as garbage. I believe that's the function name. Yeah. So this used to be called mark as pending kill, but now the engine prefers mark as garbage as the way to do this. So let's just do the same thing for our other property, the object pointer property. And so I believe we have everything we need to test. What we're going to do is we're going to call the create objects. We're going to print their state. We're going to tell the garbage collector to run very frequently. Um, and then we'll call print state again, and you'll see that some stuff disappeared and some stuff didn't disappear. And then we'll cause this force collect garbage, and that'll null out these properties. And then at the end, we will call this function use raw object. So we need a way to just invoke these functions. Um, I'll just write some quick console commands. They're a bit out of the scope of this video, but you can read the code to see what it's doing. So I have a snippet for that. So command gc test, we'll say create objects. We don't need a description. And we'll change this to gc test. So what we can use is an actor iterator to iterate over all of the actors in the level of a certain type. And we'll only put one of these. So we'll say a gc test actor. So our snippet is done. And on the gc test, we will call the function create objects. And I'll copy and paste this a couple more times for the other functions. Okay, now we have our console commands. Let's just add some includes for the console command and the actor iterator. I believe we can try to compile this and test it now. Looks like it compiled successfully. So what we want to do is drop breakpoints in each of these functions. And then we will find our class drag it into the world, and then we'll play, and we'll call gc.test.createObjects. And so we hit our breakpoint, and we can see that we do a new object, and we've created a raw object. We set that weak pointer to that object. We create the property safe one, and then we create the other property that uses the new object pointer. So then if we print the state of the objects, we can see that the weak pointer has actually not been collected yet. Otherwise it would say stale in the debugger. So we go through and we print all of the objects. If we look, we can see up there that they are valid addresses. And then we will use the object. It has not went stale yet, so this will not crash. 
just printing the name to the log. No issue. But now let's turn the garbage collector on for every frame. So there's a console command, gc force garbage collection every frame. Or perhaps it's a CVAR, but we'll set that value to 1, meaning turn it on. And now if we print the state of the objects, you can see that the raw object still has an address, but the weak pointer to raw is set to stale. So I know that this has been garbage collected, but a simple if statement will not be able to detect this. And we'll notice that our property safe object, they still have a valid address and are not stale. So what we can do to prove that there won't crash is we will tell them to basically be marked as garbage, which is a member function off of them. So let's do that. Let's say GC test dot force kill objects. And so it's going to do a null pointer check. It's not null, calls the function, no issue. This one, same deal, not null, call the function. And now since those are marked for garbage and we're garbage collecting every frame, they should be collected. So let's print the objects again. So in here, we can see that the raw object still has an address. The weak pointer is still stale, but these, which used to have addresses, are now set to null for us. So in this way, the garbage collector protects us in that as long as we have these marked as U properties, they will not be invalid addresses. And so let's call that force garbage collection again. Force kill objects. So it's going to null check them and it skips over them because they've been nulled out. But that is not the case for the non-u property, the raw object. Let's try using that. So if we do the use raw object, we step down into this log line, which it should use the get name safe, which basically if this is null, it returns, it doesn't return a valid string, it doesn't call this member function, it just returns a, a string signaling that it's not valid. But since it can't detect that this is an invalid pointer, if I step over it, we crash at some point in the engine code. And so at this point, there's not much we can do. We could try skipping over it, um, but we're still, we're kind of crashed at this point. And so it's really easy to forget a U property and create a situation where you're going to crash the engine. So in general, for something that's garbage collected, don't make a raw property like this, put your property on it, or, or monitor it using a tweak object pointer. Because the tweak object pointer, we can call it's valid to test if it's actually pointing to a valid pointer, and then we can use it. So this is valid, lets you check if it's valid, and then you can dereference the pointer and use it. So in summary, a U property will protect your objects from garbage collection. So if we create the objects, and we force it to collect every frame, and then we print the state of the objects. We can see the weak pointer to our non-u property object is stale, it has been garbage collected. But the properties are still valid pointers. And if you force them to be garbage collected with this method call, then the u property will be nulled out so you can safely check them. So this is probably the number one way that you crash the game when first starting out with C++ in Unreal. So now that you've seen how it works, you can safely write C++ code without worrying. Just make sure that you mark your new properties on types like pointers that need to be protected from the garbage collector.